Welcome, welcome, welcome. Y'all know what time it is. It's Pro Green Radio, baby. And I can tell you one thing. I had a great weekend. Birthday party. I mean, my wife, my wife really did the, she did the damn thing for me. She did it. She did it, she did it, she did it. And I, I can't tell you how much fun I had. But that's later on in the show. Ladies and gentlemen, as I stated in my first video, we're going to be talking about Apopka, its rules. For some of y'all who just moved to Apopka, okay? And you don't know nothing about your sprinkler system or your landscape, okay? We're going to get into that today. Today. Let's go. Welcome, folks. This is Ken with Pro Ground Services. It ain't green, it ain't green. And welcome to the Pro Green family. Spring nice. This is about to fit like 20 feet. You've seen the picture before. Okay. So basically, when you come into a Apopka and you turn your irrigation, let me tell you the rules here, okay? We got some rules here in Apopka about your watering time on your sprinkler system, okay? Let's read here as such. Residential irrigation is allowed on Thursdays and Sundays for addresses that end in even number, okay? Non-residential non irrigation is allowed on Tuesday and Friday, okay? Like, for example, um, if you call uh, if you call a local contractor to come out and work on your yard, the best time to do it is on a Tuesday or a Friday, okay? <clears throat> the reason being is they, they allow that day for servicing, all right? They, they allow that for servicing, and, uh, you know, you know, and if you call a professional, he knows what he's doing or she knows what she's doing. Okay. So basically on the even days, you're coming on Thursdays and Sundays. And on the odd days, you're coming on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Okay. So if your house is 704, that's an even day. You're watering Thursdays and Sundays. Okay. And to be honest with you, some areas in Apaka, they, they kind of keep you in compliance. They don't pressurize the main line. That that old purple box that's sitting outside your lawn, all of that is control. That's control. And they don't pressurize the main line till like after four o'clock PM. You have to uh wait till four or wait till, you know, uh Friday. Tuesday and Friday, okay, to, to, to work on it, okay, uh, and also, you, a rain sensor, a, a rain sensor is required on your sprinkler system, okay, I hate seeing people who are watering the irrigation and there's a freaking storm outside, okay, you're gonna get a ticket for that, man, if if a code, uh, if a code um, director sees that, you're gonna get a ticket. You are gonna get a ticket, all right? And rightfully so, because why, why run your irrigation and it's raining outside? Okay, or get a smart timer. Get get a get a get a Wi-Fi timer. You feel me? Do something, okay? Now, now if you have a drip system, right? If you have a drip system or microjet, you, you see the little blue little plastic lines. If, if it's reclaimed water, or if it's city water, you got the little um uh, uh, brown one. That's microjet drip system. They 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 give you freedom with that. You can run that all day. 
because they use such little water. Well, they're so accurate and they can serve water so good, there's no point in regulating it. All right? There's no point in regulating it. So what they do is they uh they say go ahead with that, all right? The city, the county, and this is for Castleberry, you know, Sanford, Orlando. They hate to see you waste the water, okay? People, work on your sprinkler systems, please. Work on your sprinkler systems. The reason being is you're not wasting water, okay? They already are regulating this stuff down to the T. You got to be able to regulate it, okay? Work on it, make sure it's done right, and then, you know, that way you don't you don't get in trouble. All right? So call a professional. Call guys like me. You understand? Call guys like me. Or a landscape company who has an irrigation specialist that can go through your system and make sure you're in compliance. Okay? Uh, let's, let's see here. Now, if you're doing pesticides, if you have a company who does pesticides or lawn fertilization, have them come the day before your watering day. Okay? Because that way the irrigation can come on and, 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 and uh, you know, even up the uh, chemicals, okay? That way it doesn't burn your grass, you know? Uh, some people call these companies, I'm, I, I, I will not call no name, I'm not calling no name, but they come out on their time. They come out on their time and they spray and they do their thing, but then if the irrigation is messed up and you have all those chemicals sitting on your lawn, your grass is gonna get cooked like bacon. And then you call the irrigation guy and be like, hey, something isn't working, right? Everything goes hand in hand, okay? Our job is to keep the lawn wet and make sure you have accurate coverage and make sure everything is running as efficient as possible, okay? Stop counting the irrigation guy out, all right? Irrigation systems must be operated at any time of the day for maintenance, okay? Ir excuse me, irrigation systems may be operated at any time of the day, okay? But it cannot exceed 20 minutes, okay? Now, they, they kind of they, they messed up here, okay? But, they said Tuesdays and Fridays, and now it can work on any time of the day. But you know, you know what? Where I live at, our water is always pressurized because it's coming from a different water source. Okay, so you know, it a, an irrigation contract can come out any time of the day on our side of town. Okay, some areas you gotta wait till after fall. You know, so let's go ahead and dig in to exactly why you got to keep your sprinkler system up and running. Okay, guys, we're back, right? Some of y'all this year are looking into planting new sod. Is that one of you? Do you want to plant new sod? Well, here's the thing. Sod is not cheap, especially if you want it done right. But before you even buy sod, you better make sure your irrigation is fixed first. First, first, first. Don't, don't, don't get the sod and then call us afterwards. Okay, you're gonna be very sad. You're gonna be very sad. You know why? 
because not only do we have to pick the grass up and move it, but we may have to do some serious excavating, put some bricks, or you may have to reinstall it depending on how bad it is. Before you even think about sod, get your sprinkler system up and running first. If you don't have none, get get one installed. Okay? Then you go ahead and you go ahead and put your sod down. That way it's water immediately. No time wasting. Guys, as a licensed irrigation contractor, I've seen so many things. Okay? We're we're technically considered at the bottom of the at the bottom of the totem pole. But really, we're right up there. You know why? Because it's very technical. When you have a, a guy who says he knows and he's shading a sprinkler head or two, that that is the most basic sprinkler repair on the planet. Okay? A true specialist, a true contractor knows irrigation down to the nozzle, down to the GPM, okay? An irrigation specialist can look at a system and borderline tell you what's wrong without even looking at it. They have years of experience under the belt, right? Right? So, what a, what, what a pocket is trying to tell you is <clears throat> they put these rules here to not only keep you in compliance, but to call a licensed professional, okay? Do those things, and guys, your lawn will start to do good, all right? This is Ken, Pro Green, Pro Green Ground Services. If it ain't green, it ain't green. All right, guys, I told y'all about my birthday party. Let me give you a little clip on how it went. 40 years old, baby. Still a young man. I got plenty more life left. Here's how it went.
guys next time. <laughs>